Now it's time to install AppliTools Eyes Cypress SDK and run our UI tests. But first, let's stop our tests. The iCypress SDK source code is available at this repo on GitHub. You can check the source code and all the documentation available on this page. Now, to install the iCypress SDK package, you need to run the following command. yarn add at applitools forward slash eyes dash cypress minus d. I already have it installed, so I won't install it again now. The iCypress SDK is offered as a Cypress plugin that extends the global Cypress object to include additional functionality that helps integrating Cypress with AppliTools. Before you can locally run the iCypress SDK, make sure you have properly configured the AppliTools API key environment variable. You need first to copy the API key from the AppliTools website. So by visiting the AppliTools website, you go to the accounts menu here, click on my API key and just copy the key. Then you need to assign this API key to a local environment variable that AppliTools will use when running your tests. To set an environment variable on a MacBook, you use the export command. So you type export applitools underscore API underscore key, which is the name of the environment variable, equals, and then you type in the applitools key. To set an environment variable on a Windows machine, instead of using export, you would use set AppliTools API key. I already have this setup, so I won't run it again. Let's switch back to our test and make use of the SDK to integrate AppliTools into our Cypress tests. As we said before, the iCypress SDK extends the Cypress global object with useful methods that we use inside our tests to integrate AppliTools with Cypress. To start a new test, make a call to the eyes open method that is available on the global object, the global Cypress object CY. This method allows you to specify test configurations like the application name, the test name, the browsers used to run your test, and many other configuration settings. In fact, AppliTools offers several ways to allow you to configure the test configurations. You can view all these options by visiting the advanced section under the iCypress SDK GitHub repo. So one of the things that are available by, that is offered by AppliTools is the AppliTools config.js file, where you can configure all the test configuration settings inside this file. Now, Let's go back to our test. So you start usually your test by starting a new visual test inside Cypress. And then whenever you want to take a snapshot during running the test, you would use the eyes check window. So in this case, after selecting the first product, which is the cherry product, we're taking a snapshot of the screen. Eventually, when Cypress test runs, the ICE Cypress SDK would generate a DOM snapshot and sends it to the server. So at the end of running the test, the AppliTools servers would have a list of uh, DOM snapshots that were run internally, given the test configuration that you have specified when you used eyes open or any other method to configure the tests. And then it will generate what we call the image snapshots. Of course, uh, the component behind all this is the uh, AppliTools Visual Grid that has two components, the client side that is responsible to generating the DOM snapshots and the server side that is responsible to generate the actual image snapshots, store them on the server, and then comes the AI engine 
AI engine to do the comparisons and detect any visual differences between the snapshots. So let's go ahead and add another snapshot right after selecting the second product. And at the end of the test, you need to call the eyes close to signal to AppyTools that our test is done and you can start uploading all the DOM snapshots to the server. So you can see how easy it is and implicit to integrate Apply Tools with Cypress I.O. Let's give it a run and test the results together. So let's go back to Cypress. Now we have our test saved. Let's click again the compare spec.js file. You can see that Cypress is running your end-to-end -end test as usual. However, you would see some uh, statements here during running the test. For example, eyes open. So you start a new test. And then eyes check window. We took a snapshot. Eyes check window. We took another snapshot. And finally, we close the test. Now that the test is run, let's go to the Apple Tools Test Manager and check the results. Hit refresh here to get the list of tests. As you can see, this is our test that we that we just ran. If you click on it, you get more details about the test, like the operating system that was used to run the test, the browsers, the viewport that we specified in the in the test configuration, and many other settings. If you click on this test result, you would see the two snapshots that we have taken during running the test. The first one, where we select the Cherry product. And the second one, where we select both of the products. As you can see, since this is the first time we're running our test, we still don't have any base image, baseline image. Next time we run this test, uh, this current test run would be saved as the baseline, and the new, and the new test run would be compared to this baseline. 